One Chattanooga bar won't be selling beer over the Labor Day weekend. News 12's Caleb Figures was at today's beer board meeting and explains why. Chattanooga police recently wrote Shady's Corner two citations, one for not reporting disorders to police, the other for operating a disorderly place. On Thursday, the Chattanooga Beer and Record Board dismissed the first citation, but Shady's Corner won't be able to sell beer for three days starting Labor Day weekend. Gary Rudolph lives behind Shady's Corner. He's made numerous complaints to Chattanooga police about noise and litter being tossed in his yard. When they have a flea market and, and bring the music outside, blaring it before, um, you know, church is out, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and parking across my parking lot, that's me making those calls. Rudolph believes that keeping families safe is a key to Chattanooga's growth. We could, we could pick up and run, uh, but uh, that's just not the way it's going to be. You know, I'm excited about seeing this city grow. I want it to grow the right way. I want those who come here to be respectful of our laws and our ordinances. Uh, we've had to do that, and that's the investment that we've made. And so uh, we're going to ask that they respect our investment as well. Gary Rudolph says it's always important to respect the law. Representatives from Shady's insist that they are. We have petitions, nearly 2,000 signatures of people that actually live in the community that love Shady's Corner, that come there all the time and are happy because they can actually walk freely on the streets now. They've got a place to go be communal with their neighbors, to share beer, to watch a sporting event, to actually hang out. Reporting in Chattanooga, Caleb Figures, News 12.